DTS Data Editing. In this video, editing options available for array data will be shown. These will be demonstrated on DTS data, but are applicable to other logs such as noise, cement, and MFC. This will start with the editing options at the loading stage. In this case, with a long DTS dataset in CSV format. The file is time referenced and includes date and time. A DTS data file may be very large due to acquisition duration, depth, and high frequency sampling rates. However, it might not be necessary to load all the traces that might be, for example, 15 seconds apart. Click on Advance. Three options are offered for array data loading all the traces loading one trace corresponding to the average of n traces, or skipping the load of n traces. Select the average option. In this case, the data loaded in MROD will be five times smaller than the original. By default, the DTS image interpolates between traces. However, when the sampling rate is uneven, this interpolation can be misleading. Right-click on the image and untick the Interpolate in Gaps option. The white stripes show the intervals of missing data. Most of the array editing options are accessible from the Explorer. The Delete option removes all the data for the depth interval selected interactively from the plot. For example, this is useful for removing data recorded by the fiber between the wellhead and the DTS box. The so-called A and B option imposes a multiplier A and an offset B to the selected interval. This can be done interactively or manually. Click on the interactive option and select an interval on the array image and apply an arbitrary offset. Traces can be selected individually from the image, but a range can also be defined. Click on Filter. Mean and median filters can be applied by defining either the depth window or the number of points. The changes can be previewed in any of the traces previously selected. Click on Add and select one of the early traces. This becomes a reference. It is possible to create an image that shows the difference between this and all other traces. It is also possible to create an image that shows the difference for every trace with respect to the previous. The difference images facilitate spotting temperature changes. As previously mentioned, these options can be applied to other logs treated as array data, such as noise logs. The Array Shift option is accessible from both the Explorer and from the Edit and QA QC tab. This option applies a bulk shift to the complete array. Go back to the Explorer. The Derivative option can be used to highlight changes in the measured variable. Enter the smoothing window, and a new image showing the versus depth derivative will be shown. This concludes this video on DTS data editing.